guys, how's everyone been? Are you all okay? So, um, I've done, <laughs> I've done a little bit of practicing. Yesterday I'd done, one, two, three, three mini mouse nail art designs, drawing, whatever you want to call it, with gel polish. God, it's hard. It's really hard. So I've done that three times and I've done Donald Duck, but the girl version, I don't know, um, once, which was like 10 minutes ago. Um, just there. <laughs> she has her lashes and a little bow. So um, yeah, I will show you all the ones that I've done in a second, um, but I'm gonna give it a go today and I thought I'd do a video just in case you guys wanna see how I do it. I don't know how, I don't know how this happened. So the first Minnie Mouse that I've done was, eh, you know, for my first time it was alright actually, for my first time I've never tried to do it before, not even draw it on paper, never, so for my first time it weren't too bad. The second one that I did was actually I was really proud of, um, and the third one that I did, I don't know how but it was worse than the first and the second, it went from okay to yeah actually I'm proud of that to that's terrible. I, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> um, so I'm a bit nervous that because I'm doing it on camera, it's going to go really, 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 really bad. Um, yeah, but I'm I'm going to give it a go. So we're going to do some different ones on my nails. So I've got on um, just full cover jelly tips, a bit of gel polish, full cover jelly tips because we're just doing gel polish today. So. Stay tuned. Bye. Okay, my desk, well, this little mat, it's a mess, okay? I have about 20 gel polishes everywhere, liner brushes, like dotting tools everywhere. It's just, you know, it's just a mess. Ignore that, ignore that. So let me show you these. So this is the first Minnie Mouse that I've done and it's got a matte top coat. I just wanted to see what it looked like with a matte. So that's the first one, and the lashes are just so thick. I mean, it looks like she's got about 20 pairs of lashes on. So yeah, oh my God, oh, wait there. I've just realized there's a bit of gel polish on my desk, and I've just got it everywhere. Oh, I'm making Minnie a mess. So I actually got, a, got the gel polish all over Minnie. Right, this was the second one that I done. A lot better, right, compared to that one, it's a lot better. This was the third one that I done. I don't know how it went from, usually it's like worst to getting better. This has gone from, eh, you know, a bit naff, but not too bad for my first go. Pretty proud for my second go. This is really bad. Well, it's, do you know what, it's not really bad. The eyes just are too close together and they're not big enough. Um, yeah, so. That's those. Um, I did that as well. That is supposed to be like the D sign for Disney, which didn't turn out very well. It was actually really hard to do. Then I also done this, that bow. I kind of like that. And this is what I done today. Am I even in frame? Yeah. There we go. That's what I done today. So we're going to do one, two, just this one. I'm not going to do the D sign three, four, so that's four designs, obviously I've got five, five nails on, um, and then I'll probably just do like, I don't know, a background with some white dots or something, yeah, so we're, I'm going to show you how to do this, some of it I will try and go as slow as I can, but I might have to speed some of it up, because we're going to be here all day, but I'm going to start off with the easiest, which is the bow, well I say it's the easiest, you know, it is, it's not really easy, but yeah, I'm going to start off with the bow, so let's let me just readjust you just a little bit higher. So I'm going to go in with a purple background. The only thing is my lamp is over there. So I have to keep leaning that way to, to cure. So I'm probably going to do the Minnie Mouse face on this one. So it's bigger. So I'll do the bow on this one.
So I'm going to cure that. I don't think it needs a second coat, to be honest. So I'll cure that. So that's cured. I'm just going to put some black in here. If I can get some out. So that's ready. And I'm going to put some red in there as well. Just there. So how's everyone been? Have you all been okay? What have you all been doing? Are you glad the weather's cooler? I definitely am. Right, so I need my black liner brush. I never know which one to use. I think that one might be a bit... Oh, there we go. A bit too thick. No, that's not it. That's the one I want. So I'm going to go in my black. So some of this I really might have to speed up. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry if I end up speeding it up. Here we go. Obviously, this isn't um, this nail isn't as big. Okay, so I'm going to go in and cure that now. Actually, do you know what? I've got my torch here. Just for little things like this, I'm just going to flash cure. It's just going to be easier. So that's flash cured. I am just going to take my dotting tool and just put some there like that, just to make it easier for me to spread out, really. Um... I do go over the black lines if I need to, so I'm not fussed if I do get this too far on the black line. And what I did realise is that black little line that's in the middle, I should have left a little gap inside um, to be able to fill that in with red, and I didn't. So I'm just going to go over the top with a little bit of red. And then I'll do some lines down it afterwards. Like that. And I'll do some black lines on there after. So that's all filled in, so I'm gonna flash cure that. So I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of black. Like that, okay. And then I'm going to get this black and I'm going to do like a little swoosh. I can't explain it, but you might be able to just see, hopefully. So I'm going to go from that top corner. Not that I was touching it. Come on. I'm not touching it. Why am I not touching it? Just a little swoosh just there. So it kind of makes it look a little bit more 3D. I'm going to have one coming out of here as well. <clears throat> and does that, I mean, why is my lighting not that good again? <clears throat> it was okay earlier. Does that look alright? No, I don't like the lines. I didn't have the lines last time, but on the mini's head, I do have the lines. So I'm just going to scrub that off. And just dry it and I'm just literally what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the line down there line down there <gasps> no go this always happens whenever I try and record it's like we're going to make you go rubbish today I'm just going to follow this black line back round down there slightly just because it is a little bit, it's not as black as I wanted it. Oh, 
And then I do some um, dots afterwards. Right, flash cure. So I'm just going to take some white oops, and just pop a bit of white in there. That should be enough. And I'm going to take a really small dotting tool. I'm just put some small ones on here. I only want a tiny one in the middle. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my brush over, get some red. Don't really think I've got enough on here. And put some red down here. Just like that. Flash cure. So I'm just going to top coat, probably a bit too much on there then. Does anybody else have this issue that they can kind of do it when they're practicing and they're not recording and it doesn't look too bad but as soon as they start recording they can't do it because that's me. So I am really not looking forward to the Minnie Mouse face. Okay, so I'm just going to cure that now. And that's that one. So the next step, oh my god, it's going to be Minnie Mouse. Jeez, okay. Right, let me get everything prepared for this and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to paint the same colour as that one. Purple for the background. This one I might have to, um, I'm hoping I can do it all in, like, without having to speed it up, it, just so you guys can see. But I might have to because it is going to take quite a while. So I'm sorry if I've had to speed it up. So that's fine, so I'm just going to flash cure that now. Well, I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds. Okay, so I've got the purple on, but what I do like to do is I, I am going to go in with a matte just to make it a matte top coat, just to make it more of a smoother surface to work on. And then I will cure this for a minute. I always cure matte for a minute because sometimes it doesn't cure all the way through. And it pulls off and like just pulls away. So I'll cure that for a minute. Oh, okay, right. What brush am I going to use? So I'm going to go in my black. I might just have to let you guys watch, okay? Because I really struggle to talk at the same time. <laughs> so I've got... The one thing I've got to remember is... This nail is a lot bigger than this one, so I have to take that into consideration and not do it too big because it's obviously my nails are smaller. So, can you? I mean, I'm sorry about the shadow. Let me see if I can adjust this. No, it's still got a shadow. Okay, well, I'm sorry about that, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, run that way. This is kind of like the outline, okay? This is the side that I always struggle with without fail because I can never get it to be the same. And I always do this bit here, going 
down. Cause I, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Why am I ruining my life? Ah, there we go. Um, because that's going to be the kind of chin area, I want to say. So I always do it going downwards. But what I want to do is I don't want... I want this bit, bit to be off. The face. I want that bit to be off. I don't... I can't explain it. So, um... That looks okay to me. I'm going to go in and cure this now and then we're going to fill it all in. So I've got baby pink for like the colour of the face. So I'm just putting that in my little palette in there. I try and trust the process. I mean, how does that look, even look like a Minnie Mouse face? Okay, but I'm just... I'm. I am trusting the process. So I'm going to take just a liner brush. Again, it doesn't matter if I go over that black because I want to... This is just so I kind of knew where that outline was. And see that little black line that I did? I don't want that there, so I'm actually getting rid of that. Because I kind of want that face to go off if that makes sense <laughs> probably not yeah so I can go over this black if I get it on the black anyway just to refresh that outline so don't worry if you do that Quite shocking how much pink you need. I do put it on quite thick, um, but to be honest, it say oh saves me going back in with doing a second. If it's all like covered, then I don't need to go back in. So where that bit I haven't gone all the way across there, I don't worry about that yet. That gets filled in with black later. Okay. So let me just get rid of that air bubble. I'm just going to go back in in certain places. So I'm just making sure there is is all covered. So I'm now going to flash cure that. Well, actually, it's quite on there quite thick, so I'm going to cure that for a minute. So I'm now just going to go back around some of the black. Just to make sure it's nice and... Well, not, not, not as light as what it is. I can't think of the word, to be honest, that I'm looking for. This side's not too bad, but I'm going to go over it just in case. That side's all right. So what I'm going to do... This side I'm going to fill in with black. I'm going to go all the way up there. We're just going to leave it to about there for now. Make sure I'm getting it all over that nail. I'm going to do the same with this side, fill it all in. Bring it up. my skin a little bit okay so we filled that in but what I'm gonna do is I want the tiniest 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 little kind of point just on these bits this one might be quite hard to do because there 
Okay, like that. So they're a bit more pointier on that face. And the black part that we've just done, that is a shadow kind of thing. So I'm just flash curing. Flash, 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 flash cure. That'll do. That'll do. Okay. Oh my god, I hate this part. And I really, really, the eyes, believe it or not, the eyes are actually the hardest part, for me anyway. They might not be for anyone else, but they are for me. So I'm just cleaning off my dotting tool. And it, it is hard for me. So I'm just going to go in with white. And I'm just going to try and figure out whereabouts it needs to go. So I have got, obviously, that picture next to me. So I'm saying about there. I really, 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 I mean, that might even be too big. Should be alright, let me just get my black a minute and I'm just gonna bring because this bit's gonna be filled in. I'm just trying to figure out whereabouts the rest of it needs to go. Whether those eyes are gonna be any good or not, or whether they are too big. Ow. Um I think let me do the rest of the face and see if we can bring it to life a little bit. So I'm going to do the nose. So again, I'm going to get a dotting tool and go in with the black. So I know I haven't cured this yet, but it's just in case the eyes are too big. So that's the nose, which is actually okay. And now I am going to go in with the mouth, which again can be hard. Can you guys see all right? Yeah, I don't, I'm not a lover of doing the mouth, to be honest. I know it's having a steady hand, but honestly, it's freaking hard. It really is. So I'm going to fill it in carefully as I can. At this point, I probably should have cured, but you know. Right, I think those eyes are actually good to go. So I'm going to flash cure all this now. I just wanted to make sure they weren't going to be too small or too big, but hopefully they'll be all right. I mean, I know Minnie has big eyes anyway, doesn't she? I just don't want them to be like goggle eyes. We've still got to do the bow and everything. We've got lots more to do. Flash cure, flash cure, flash cure. I'm giving it a good cure because if I do mess up and I need to wipe off, I don't want to accidentally wipe any of that off or if it's not cured properly. That should be enough. Okay, so I'm gonna do, no, I don't, I'm gonna take actually an even thinner brush. So I'm taking a real, real, real tiny brush now because I need to do some little flicks, like little smiley flicks. Which I don't like doing, freaking hate doing them. That one didn't, no, I don't like that one. Let me try and get rid of that one. Oh, I don't mind the other one. The other one I like. This one is a no-no. So I'm just wiping it off. 
I'm going to try and do it this way if I can. Mm. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, I don't want them to be too dark, but I don't know if that's light enough. But I'm going to cure them just in case, and then if I need to go darker, then I can. We need to do the tongue and things as well. There's so many parts to this. So um, I need a dark pink, which I'm gonna put in my palette. So this is the color. I'm gonna get a dot in tool. Oh my God. So another dot in tool, a tiny one. So I've got, I literally just need the tiniest dot, the tiniest dot, okay. So we have Minnie's tongue, so I'm going to quickly cure that before it moves anywhere. Do you want to know what the worst part is for me? The absolute freaking worst? I am going to do with the smile lines, probably a little bit darker. They're coming up darker on camera than what they actually are. So are we ready for the part that I despise and I hate? with absolute passion. It can go to hell. The circles around the eyes. Honestly. This, I will probably have to, like, speed this part up. Can never do it. Oh my god, I've done one. How did I manage to do that? So I'm going to cure that first. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to have to speed loads of this up. I'm hoping I don't. Just in case you guys want to have a bit of a practice or something. And follow my steps. I mean, you're probably better off going to Kirsty Meekin and having a look at hers because she does it a bit more easier. Well, she does it faster. And she's a pro. <laughs> so this one does need to be a bit more darker there. Okay, so I'm going to now cure that. I mean, the eyes aren't really the same shape, but nobody's eyes the same, are the same shape. <laughs> Actually, I'm just going to go down here slightly. And now I'm going to cure. I'll do a um, tiny dot in tall again. For the pupils. It's so small, so tiny. <gasps> that one, oh, that's all right. I thought I put it in the wrong place then. Okay, we need to do lashes on her as well, which I are, are they are hard. I always end up doing them too thick. E e come on. Okay, so now what we also need to do is the line that goes. But that isn't how I want it, that's not even the right, I mean, unless I bring it down this side a little bit more. No, so I'm just going to clean that off because that is not how I want that line. Just drying it. Go back in with that line. I might do it from this end. Um, which way does it go? So if I do it upside down, it's got to go up that way, yeah. So her face might be 
pulled in too much at the sides but I might paint that over that bit pink in a second so let me cure that she isn't the best to be honest right, let's do these crappy lashes that I'm not going to be able to do I actually want it to go that way. Yeah, outwards. Okay. He's getting it on there. Okay, so now I'm going to cure. So I am gonna oops, I am gonna make these bits a tiny little bit darker. Tiny little bit darker. Not much, I might have to go this side. Yeah. Just a little bit darker. Yeah, so these black shadows are pulled in too much, but I can go back in with pink in a minute. I'll do a bow first okay so the bow is going to be dark pink as well <sighs> so I need a liner brush again going to go in with that dark pink do a line here Like that. So yeah, the, the bow goes back over her. So it's covering a little bit of her face. And then I'm going to go around this and fill it in with black. Right, so I'm going to cure that now before we fill it in. So let me try and, this is what we're trying to do, okay, that one. But the black shadowing is too far in, I think. So I might um, put some more pink on that part and see if I can sort that bit out. So it's not pulled right in. I'll do the bow first though. I'll do everything first and we can do that bit after. Okay. Black again. So I'm gonna go down at the nail. 
about down the bow, shall I say? I could never do this on a real person, I really couldn't. I wouldn't have the confidence to do it on a real person, I'd be too worried. Okay, that's filled in. So what we need to do now is I'm going to go and just bring some swoops in at the side. Just so it looks kind. Can you see like that? And then I'll do one on this side. Like that. Okay. So I'm going to go in and cure this. I'll probably cure it for one minute just to make sure. So I'm going to try and fix the skinniness of her face. Can you see? Um, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to try. Doesn't mean I can do it, okay? I mean, I did, I have fixed one that I've messed up before. But it was difficult. So I don't want her face to be this fat. That's better. Sorry. Uh, I don't want too much on my brush because then I can't spread it out enough. See what I mean? I'm having to like really spread this gel polish out. Come on. To cover, I'm trying to cover that black. See what I mean? See that massive lump? I'm doing that to try and cover that black. But then I do have to spread the rest of it out, which is annoying. Otherwise, you've still got that black dot under, well, the black gel paint underneath. Gel polish, sorry. Might just have to cure this and then just do a second, a second lot. I think. Yeah, so I'm going to cure that and then I'll do a second coat. Just around that black that we put on there. I still want it to be like this. But it was too far in, the face was too skinny. So I'm going to pull it back in in a second. When this is cured. Only slightly though. Okay, that should be enough. So I'm gonna get a real thin one now and go in black. And I do only want this pulled in ever so slightly. I don't want it pulled in too much. Okay, I'm actually nearly happy with it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't want to do it too much. That's actually much better, isn't it? Don't want to do it too much at all. Because that'll ruin it. So I'm going to get a dotting tool now. Mm, yeah, that would be all right. Go in with white and just put some little tiny dots on here. One there, like that. Hey, Minnie. And now I'm going to flash. So I'll flash cure this for one minute. I'm just making sure everything is... Oh, no, we have forgot. Well, not we, I did. To do like the little chin sort of area. Like that, okay. So she's got her little chinny chin chin. I mean, I don't know if I should do it a little bit more coming out. Just so it's a little bit more noticeable, you know. Okay, now I'm going to cure for one minute. And there we have mini. So the next one we're going to do is this one, but we're not going to do that D because, I mean, I might do, if it looks horrible, I'll just wipe it off. But we're going to do this and then we're going to do this one as well. But I'll do this one on the sun because it's not going to fit anywhere else. So I'll do it on the sun. So yeah, let me just... Let me go and get a drink because I'm really, really thirsty and I'll be back. So I've done the black. I've just put two coats on. I did get a little bit on my skin there. I can't get off, but I'll scrape it off in a second. I'll probably just use a little bit of a file. Two coats of black, all cured. Now I'm going to go in with dark pink with a dotting tool. So let me just clean it off. Ugh, sticking. Oh, God. Oh no. Okay, we won't use that dotting tool. Actually, let me use this. Use a proper wipe, that'll be better. There we go. So I'm going to go in with dark pink. And I'm going to draw, it's just like the body. But I want it quite big. So I'm just going to keep going round and round and round. That's okay, actually, we're going a little bit further up there. So I'm just going to flash cure that. You don't need to flash cure it too long. That should be enough. And now I'm going to do the little ears back in with the pink. I'm going to rest that on there, actually, it might be better like that. One there. Now this is where I find it hard is matching it up this side. Bigger. Top. Bit round there. And that's a bit small, isn't it, that one? I need to hold, I keep holding my breath. Is it right doing one? It's matching up the other one. Okay, I mean, why is she small? Oh, it's because of this side, I think. If I have to make the other one bigger, then I'll make the other one bigger. That That's all right. I'm just going to leave it like that because I don't want to mess it up. And I might draw the D on here. But it's really hard to draw the D because I haven't got that much of a steady hand when trying to do a circle. So I'm going to leave that like that and I'm going to go in with this nail with my purple and I'll do the D in red I think. 
paint all this nail. Um, I can never get really close to the cuticle. Should use a little liner brush really for this part. Okay, that, that'll do and I'm just gonna cure that. So that's all cured. I'm gonna get some red and just put it in my palette again, just making sure there's enough in there. Oops, oh my God, I can get that brush back in. Let me move all my liner brushes out of the way and I'm going to use this one. So I'm just going to clean this liner brush off because it's got black on there. Making sure it's all off. Okay. Right, this one. So in with the red. This 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 bit is just going to look terrible, okay? So don't hold your breath. It's going to look nice because it's going to look really bad. That's probably too much. So I'm just thinking how I want to do it. If I can't do this one, then I'm just going to go ahead and not do it at all. I'm just making it a little bit more thicker. And with the D, they kind of have like a little flick like that. But I can never get it right. So I'm going to do that and then I'm just going to bring this bit in a tiny bit more. bit more than that and then I'm gonna go Ugh, probably should cure this first but like that <laughs> okay so I'm gonna cure that <laughs> So that's those, I've just um, top coated them and flash cured them. Now we're gonna do this one, but we're gonna do it on the sun, which I don't know is a good idea because I don't know if I can hold my finger like this to do it and I don't know if I can do it upside down. But I'm gonna pop that there just so we can I can see what I'm doing for reference or if it gets in the way, I'll put it to the side. So baby pink background this time. So I'll do that off camera and I will do two coats. So she's had two coats of pink. Oh, she, my nail, shall I say. Um, I don't know if my ca camera's gonna cut out because I think I'm filling up the space. But if it does, I will just redo a new one, don't worry. I will put it on in a sec. Right, so the yellow part, let me put some ooh, yellow in my palette and I'm gonna get a liner brush so I'm just gonna clean this one off because it's got pink on it go in with yellow just put it anywhere really so it goes up the middle kind of goes up in the middle like that and then So I'm just going to fill this part in. A bit more than that. A 
I've only done this. Uh, what is it called? Donald Duck Girl, whatever her name is. I've only done her once, so it might not be perfect, okay? And that was this morning. I'd done a practice run. Right, okay. So I'm going to flash cure that. That should be good enough. Let me just go over this part. Right, so I'm going to flash cure that now. Uh, right, so now what I need to do is get a liner brush, my black. I'm just going to follow this line as best as I can. Like that. Okay, and she has like a little bit more darker. That would be to go more on a point, really. And then she has this bit painted in a black, tiny bit. So I'm going to cure that. So that bit's done. It's cured. Now I need to do the eyes. Ooh, I don't like doing the eyes. I hate doing the freaking eyes. So I'm going to get some... I've already got blue in there. So I need a dotting tool again. So let me clean this one off. Blue, uh, I definitely need more blue in there, actually. Not thick enough. Pop that down there. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Mm, do I draw the eyes first? I can't remember how I did it, to be honest. I'm pretty sure I didn't do this last time. <laughs> what I did last time was I um I went in with black first and then just filled it in. I'm not bothered if I get it over the black because I can go back over that after. So I'm not too fussed about that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's pretty alright. So I'm gonna cure that. And now the hard part. Oh god. I, I actually hate this part. This is going round the eyes. My stomach's rumbling. I'm hungry now. I haven't eaten since yesterday because I don't eat breakfast. I don't like it. It's too early for me to eat. Shit. Shit. This is why you should always cure before you move on to the next step. Sorry, I, I know the desk is moving. It's because I'm shaking. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cure that. So now let's do the little dots in the eyes. Clean my dotting tool again. I have got like loads of dotting tools, but this is the biggest. So put that in some black. If oh, I need some more black in there that's not enough shocking how much black I have actually used okay right so I want one eye just a bit bigger than that
that's fine. One just here as well. So I am going to keep checking either side. I'm turning it upside down. Well, the right way around, shall I say. Just to, so I can keep an eye on it. So that's fine. I do want a little flick this side though. Okay. <sighs> Cure that. Now I kind of need to do some of these. I don't know if they're, they're kind of like eye which things that you colour in. So we gon' do that. Right. This video is so fun, isn't it? Not, I know I'm being very, very quiet. It's, it's the concentration, I promise you. Don't know if I'm happy with that part, but you know. Wanted it to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, let me, it's because I'm holding it upside down. Let me clean that off. Okay. I'm just drying it just to make sure there's no acetone still stuck on there. Right. Yeah, that bit's all right. Now I'll try and get this one the same. It is super difficult when you're, um, Doing it upside down, it really is. So that's gonna do, I'm gonna quickly cure that and then we can color it in. That bit's cured, so I'm going to get my a tiny dot in tool actually, this one will be alright. And I'm going to go in with purple, and I can go back over the black afterwards, which is what I normally do. So I'm going to fill this part in, like that, blush cure, and we'll go back in with the black. So I'm just going to go back in with a tiny little bit of black around the eye. And this side. And up here. That bit's not too bad. <coughs> so now I'm going to cure that bit. So the lashes, okay. Oh. This is the bit that I don't like at all. Hate it. Right, lash time. So I want, if I start on this one now. I have a habit of wanting to go that way and doing the lashes on the wrong way. Okay, not too bad. Now let's try and get this one right. I know it's not going to want to go right. Uh. Nope. No, I don't think I had enough on on my brush. Okay. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to cure that. So I've made a massive mistake. <laughs> a huge mistake and I've just cured it. So the lashes are supposed to go from the blue part. Now I don't know if I can fix it. Oh, that's the wrong one. But I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a good go. Oh, they were really good as well. So I'm gonna. I mean, it's gonna have to do, isn't it? Unless I file it off, yeah. Let me see if I can wipe it off. 
Yay, I managed to file it off. Luckily, I noticed after about five seconds of curing it. So let's try this again. Okay. If I can get them longer, I will. Oh my god, yay! Now it looks like lashes, whereas before, I don't know what the heck that was. Never get this one looking the same, but that's not too bad, is it? So let's do actually, no, let's cure before I mess it up. So now let's do my, my dog's in here, he's been eating grass, right? So we're gonna do the eyebrows, okay. So I'm going to try and hold my finger like this. I, I don't, I'll try it this way, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it this way. I did want to put a bow on her as well. If I can fit a bow on, I will. But I don't know if it's going to fit on here. Okay, so I might do a tiny little bow at the top, so I'm going to cure that. Okay, so now the bow. So I need a little, a tiny little one really for, for this. I don't want anything too big. Ugh. Right, I'm going to do dark purple, dark pink, sorry. For her little bow. Right, so I've never done a bow upside down, so I'm not saying it's going to be perfect. Oh, sorry. Out of frame then, wasn't I? It's being filled in anyway, so I'm not too bothered about how messy the pink looks. I am going to go over her eye, um, eyebrow. Fill it in. Too much. Yeah, I've definitely got too much on there. I don't want too much. I do find this easier to fill in with a liner brush than the gel polish brush because it's just going to be too big and you're not going to be able to you're just going to probably mess it up well I would I definitely would that's why I'm using a liner brush okay so I'm going to cure that before we fill in the black and everything else right okay black yeah. back in with the black again So I'm going to go all the way around.
Right, okay, I'm going to cure that. All top coated, all done. So give me your opinions, let me know what you think. Do you like them? Do you think they're pretty good? Do you think they're bad? I mean, that does not look like a D for Disney though, does it? But, you know, we, we all have to learn. We're all practicing, we're all learning. Not everybody just qualifies as an L technician and then bang, you know, they're amazing. But yeah, this is what the outcome was. I think, considering I only done this once, let me try and find her. And that was this morning. Look at the difference. Much better. Yeah, so, you know, if you're willing to do this, honestly, just practice, 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 and you will get there. I mean, that bow is terrible compared to that bow. But, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I know it was really long. Um, it took me... I think like just over two hours to do this set so yeah it's, it's it's do you know what it is it's all the curing the in and out in and out in and out that that's so time consuming but anyway have a nice day guys and i will see you in my next video bye